Hey everybody, it's Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I often get a question from my viewers as to why do I always put the wood chunks underneath my coals when I cook barbecue. In this episode, I'm shooting it at Patty's Woodshed in the Woodshed in Orange County. This is the perfect location to explain to you guys the science behind why I put my wood underneath my coals when I cook barbecue. What you see in front of you is grass. Grass or leaves are made up of two kinds of natural compounds. One is called cellulose and hemicellulose. Cellulose and hemicellulose means that the grass or the branch or the leaf is soft. Now, if you contrast that against this pile of wood here, the wood has a third ingredient called lignin. So when you combine lignin with something called cellulose or hemicellulose, you will basically get wood. Wood is the key to good barbecue because what happens is you need to know how to evaporate this third component in wood called lignin to allow your barbecue to taste like barbecue. So wood has heat content. The heat content is called BTU and the BTU is a measure of how hot that wood will be. So for example, you cannot cook with certain kinds of woods like apple because they don't give a lot of heat, they give a lot of flavor, but no heat. You can cook also with things like this kind of wood here called white oak. White oak puts out a lot of heat, so you can cook with that. Other woods up here like almond uh, is very good. Things like red oak is good. Mesquite has a very kerosene flavor, but very high heat output. And then pecan is a favorite among pitmasters because it's a good blend of smoke and heat. When it comes to smoke, you've got to make sure that you know how to evaporate the resin contained within the wood. You have asked me, gee, you know, Harry, why do you always put the wood chunks underneath the coals? You never put it on top. The reason you don't put the wood on top is because you want the wood to be able to smolder. The temperature by which you want a smaller wood is around 450 degrees. If you remember the movie or uh, the book called Fahrenheit 451, you realize that is the temperature by which wood smolders. When wood smolders at 450 degrees, it releases a range of chemicals, organic compounds called carbonyls. So what happens is if you put a piece of white tile in your pit and you evaporate the wood at 450 degrees, you're going to get a sweet, sticky, barbecue tasting liquid on that white tile, which you can taste then barbecue. At around 720 degrees, this lignin, this wood here, it will evaporate again into another class of compounds called phenols, which are aromatic compounds that give you the hints of vanilla, hints of green apple, and all kinds of aromatic flavors to your barbecue. That's caused by the phenol gases evaporating from the wood at around 720. So the secret to barbecue is evaporating the resin, which is the stuff that makes wood hard within a very specific sweet spot range of around 450 to around 720. So that's the secret of barbecue. You need to be aware that that temperature range is not accomplished when the wood is on top of the fire. The fire temperature is between 950 to over 1000 degrees, depending on the kind of flame you have. So the gases that are evaporating at that point in time don't do much for barbecue. So there you have it. That's the secret of barbecue is to get maximum evaporation of a gas called carbonyls and phenols at a specific sweet spot temperature range between around 450 to 720. And 450 to 720 is found actually underneath your coals, not on top because on top is too hot. There you have it, a little bit of a barbecue science for you. For those of you who ask me this question repeatedly, I'm finally able to kind of give you a complete answer. It's a lovely day here in SoCal at the Orange County Woodshed. So this is the perfect place to explain this little phenomena to you guys. I hope that the explanation is helpful. A little bit nerdy, a little bit sciencey, but for those of you who ask, I can tell you everything I know about wood. I tried this method many times and it's successful and won many, many championships, including 100 plus first places around the world. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and share and tell everybody about my channel. And again, I want to thank all my sponsors and Patreon subscribers who helped me out to grow my channel. So it's been a fantastic journey and I'm so happy that, you know, I'm getting questions and I'm able to answer and take you guys to the next level.